Welcome to Miracle Moment. This is the new mommy season that will absolutely rock your world, up-level your mama game, and skyrocket your business. I'm your host, Ray Ireland, and brand new mama. Like every new mama out there, I enjoyed those quiet, precious moments of those first few months. But after that, there was this stirring in my heart to lean back into business and activate my entrepreneurial brain. I went into a business partnership with a financially failing podcast production company and turned it into a multi-six-figure production house with over 65 million downloads in just a few months. It's been a roller coaster, and I've learned some unforgettable lessons. As a mamapreneur, I know how challenging it can be to balance work, family, and self-care and still see the everyday miracles. So each week, I'll share stories of women who have defied the odds to pursue their dreams of motherhood while also building successful businesses. This show will open your eyes so you can see the miracles around you. With more awareness, more miracles will show up. Light a fire in your soul, mamas. You deserve it. I'm going to dive into the sneaky ways that we abandon ourselves as mamas, as mamapreneurs, and how to avoid this from happening. And this episode was requested by a dear friend of mine while her and I were on a walk. And I was sharing something that had happened this morning. And she said, you have to make it a podcast episode. So shout out to Jules and Keeney Coffee for this one coming at you live today in the moment. It's very fresh. (laughs) So today was a cool day because we have been in the process of sleep training and nap training. And we've gotten our full night sleep back. When I say we, Sammy and I. So parents are regaining our own sanity, which is amazing. And Rafa, our baby, is just totally thriving with this sleep. And we're in nap training. And so when we calculated it, this has been about a month process to get everything dialed in. We didn't do the cried out method. We did this slower approach to getting him to go to sleep and learn how to fall asleep on his own in his crib in his room. And so since we took this slower approach, it's just taken a while. So it's been about a month. But all of a sudden, it feels like our life is totally shifting and flipping on its head in the best way possible because we calculated it. And if Rafa is going to sleep and then we have this time after he goes to sleep before we go to sleep, there's about three or four hours And then he's going to be napping and he is napping for around three hours during the day. That means we are getting six to seven more hours to ourselves each day. This is bonkers. Like I'm stumbling over my words because I still can barely believe that this is what's happening. I feel like we have totally just adjusted to this other way of being and doing things. And Ralph is always with us. And It's fun. It's crazy. It's chaotic. And I definitely don't feel like I have the time to do everything that I want for myself and my business. And I've shared this in a lot of the episodes and it's been a struggle and I've found these kind of ways to go through it and move through it. And really, that's what I'm sharing with you all in these episodes in this mommy season. And I just have to say, this is bonkers to think that Every day, I'm going to have six to seven hours to myself to do whatever I need and want to do. (laughs) In this revelation, of course, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, our business is going to 10x, 100x. This is going to be the best year yet. I'm totally going to dial my health back in because I can get back into my self care practices, have more time. Already, the house has been looking cleaner than it was for the last year. So that's been fun. And so all of these things have come up. But what I've found myself doing is I keep getting stuck in productivity because I haven't had this time to myself. So now that it's open, I just feel like, wow, I should be doing six to seven more hours of stuff every day. And that has honestly put me in this really sticky trap of perfection and push and the go-go grind and just this like very masculine driven societal programmed way of being where it doesn't really leave much room for my like feminine expression and emotions and also just relax and recharge time. So what I decided today was I was going to start 
taking that first nap time, whether it's an hour and a half, to just have dedicated totally to Mama Ray. And it's really hard as an entrepreneur to create and put up such strong boundaries, but I think it's so necessary. And so I actually had to ask myself because I felt myself saying, I have these nap times. That's when I should be on my computer getting my work done. That's when I should be dialing all that stuff in. I don't, I really don't like being on my computer in front of Rafa and being on my phone. So I try to avoid screen time for both myself and him when we are together. And he's actually, he doesn't do any screen time. We'll see how long that lasts, but it's been going really well. He actually loves books and playing piano and guitar. It's amazing what kids can imagine and create up and do when they're not just straight up entertained on the screen. Anyways, different topic. So what I said was, what would the most abundant version of me do? Would she be diving into work during that first nap? And I mapped out my day. And the answer was, no way she would be taking that time just to herself. So I liked how that answer sounded. Theoretically, that sounds really nice to take an hour, hour and a half to myself every morning. My old routine used to be like, two to three hours. So that sounds great. An hour going from like maybe 15 minutes of myself of like me time a day to an hour. That sounds amazing. So I decided, okay, I'm going to do this. But it still felt so weird. So I had to journal it out first, right? So I'm asking myself these questions. I'm setting it up. So I said, let me write a list of everything that I cannot do during that hour. Hey there, fabulous mamapreneurs. I've got something super special for you. Introducing Giggles and Growth, hilarious reflection prompts for the mamapreneur. So just picture this. You're journaling your way through prompts that have you giggling and reflecting like never before. Ever wondered what your business would say if it could talk? Or how about sharing the funniest thing your kids have ever said about your work? But here's the best part. These prompts aren't just about having a good laugh. They're an incredible investment in yourself and your journey as a mompreneur. Taking time for giggles and growth means giving yourself the gift of self-discovery, clarity, and personal growth. As you reflect on these entertaining prompts, you'll gain valuable insights into your business, your role as a mom and as an entrepreneur, and even find hidden gems of wisdom. And the cherry on top? It's absolutely free. No cost, no catch, just a joy-filled opportunity to embrace laughter while empowering yourself. So what are you waiting for? Unleash your laughter and embrace the growth with Giggles and Growth. Click the link in the show notes or visit www.rayireland.com slash giggles dash and dash growth to grab your copy now. Let's make your entrepreneurial journey even more fabulous. Get your giggles and growth freebie today, mamas. You deserve it. Just knowing myself, I'm a creature of habit, as most of us are. And so I said, no doing laundry, no doing dishes, no cleaning, no screen time, no scrolling, no email, no computer no phone, which means actually even no no cellular connection. I said, you got to put it on airplane mode. No talking to other people. No, what else did I say? No talking to Sammy. I had to specifically say that one because we live together. We work together. I love him. I love talking to him, but I think I need a little break here and there. So th- those are the main things I said no to. I cannot do any of those things during this first hour, which of course led me into making a new list of everything I could do. And I got excited. I was like, I can read, I can journal, I can meditate, I can pray, I can get ready. Wait, what? I can get ready, like choose an outfit, take my time trying on multiple outfits, maybe do some makeup, do my hair. That felt really fun. I can make a drink or cook something delicious. I did say I can organize, which that might not be everyone's fun, exciting self-care thing. But for me, I actually really get a lot of joy out of organizing. So I said, I can organize. 
And then I got creative. I was like, oh, I can also paint. I can draw. I could make jewelry. And I just felt like my creativity come back online of all the things that I could be doing during this nap. Now, honestly, just journaling that felt like such a gift. And I don't know if any moms can relate to this, but I journaled that. And you know what I did? I was like, well, it's nap time. All right, let's go. So I was like, well, I already did my journaling. Now let's go get ready. So I did get dressed really cute, put on some makeup, did my hair. And then you won't believe what I started doing. I started doing the laundry. I started cleaning. I even vacuumed today. I did literally all of the things that were on my list of don't do's and I did them. And I can't tell you that I was doing that on purpose or not on purpose. I knew what I was doing in the moment, but it was like I couldn't stop myself. It was crazy. I think I'm addicted to actually being a productive house mom. That's what it felt like. Oh, and then add in the entrepreneur part. Yes, I did start working. Yes, I did answer Sammy's call where he asked me to do some things for our company. Yes, I got on my computer. Then, of course, I checked my email. Oh my gosh, you guys, this rabbit hole was ridiculous. And I'm not going to lie. Once I was like, all right, I need to stop this. I was about to close my computer and go do something just for me. The alarm went off. The baby alarm. Rafa had woken up. And so there was my morning. (laughs) I went and picked him up. And I just was laughing because I was like, wow, that is such a mom thing to do to create these boundaries, these tight structures, these things we want to do, put these dreams into place, and then just like totally backfire on them. And I think the way that we can really abandon ourselves is when we get too hard on ourselves for doing these types of things. The reason why I wanted to do an episode about this is because I shared this with my girlfriend on a walk today and she goes, I literally did the same thing yesterday and you're making me feel so much better about it. Thank you. And now I have new ideas for how I can do it better next time. And you know what? We are imperfect. And as moms, of course, we want to do all of the things and we want to do all the not so fun things when our babies are sleeping because we want to spend more and more time with them. So of course, we want to knock out the work and make the house clean and get everything tidy and ready. And it was just such a reminder for me today that, yes, I can have these goals and these boundaries. I used to be really, really good at my self-care. Like I said, it would be two to three hours every day, in fact. And I really recognize the transition that I'm going through. And just like we transition into motherhood, into being pregnant, into all the different stages of our babies and toddlers, We also transition into the different stages and flows and schedules that we have as moms. And so with each transition, just give yourself that spaciousness and that grace to know that you are doing your best and you may be trying to come up with the best self-care practice and routine and you might want to be aligning it perfectly with those naps and getting your work done and all of that. And I think it was just such a beautiful reminder for the ease that we can have for ourselves while also stepping into brand new territory around our self-care. So I hope this episode gives you a little laugh, a little inspiration, and a little openness into what could be possible, what could be next, and that journey of dancing in the transition because it won't be just a black and white step here, go there. And yeah, it feels like a whole new era is coming up here for me, for the mommy season and miracle moment, and I'm sure for you as well. So enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon. Hey mamas, that's a wrap for another epic episode on Miracle Moment, the new mommy season. Catch me on the internet at Ray Ireland sharing this wild mompreneur life. And don't forget to check out www.rayireland.com slash freebies for all the resources and support while building your soul aligned business. Are you feeling the miracles coming your way? Stay blessed, ride this miracle vibe all day long. And remember, it's all about the journey. Catch you on the next episode.